Off to the colonial era we go. Brand new section of time for us to explore and it's awfully snowy out here. Let's see what we've got going on. New tech tree, we're gonna have to work our way down. Oh goodness, we're gonna be getting artifacts and dynamite, museum keys, battering rams, okay. Uh, begin your colony in the colonial area. Hold tab and press to or mouse wheel to find the era structures. Build a colony hub flag somewhere with water nearby. And we're going to want to build an advanced house for our colonists. Okay. So we have water over here. So we're going to see, we want to build a colony hub. We need five planks and 20 fibers. So we're, can we grab fiber from here? We can get fiber and berries from these bushes. Let's go. Going to chop down some trees as well. Just a good old colonial man. Just getting ready to build a, a beautiful settlement for my people. We're actually going to have to go back to our primitive era. We're going to have to use our, our workbench to be able to make some planks here put down logs hit them with our hatchet be able to take the planks and then back here in the colonial area your main colony hub used to recruit new colonists and access the colony's inventory cannot be moved build it somewhere with water nearby we can just put this right here okay this is our hub we've got an inventory in here we can drop planks and berries and whatever else off to be able to feed our people let's see what our next move is we want to build an advanced house for our colonists Build a bed inside the advanced house or a TP to allow for more colonists to join your colony. Looks like advanced house two we could make with rock and fiber. So let's go pick up some more fiber and find some rocks. What kind of animals do we have out here? That's a big old bear over there. They look pretty similar to our uh, primitive era. So not too bad. I saw a woolly mammoth earlier. Just looking for rocks here. He should get us up to the 20 that we need. Advanced house two. We're going to place this in here right next to the water. Beautiful. Could have used our uh, little pickaxe to be able to construct it. And that's our first home for our new colony. Now beds, we're going to need dinosaur leather planks and fiber. Oh boy. This is interesting how you have to keep going back and forth between different eras and, and taking advantage of, of different resources from each one. So as we're progressing on, we're still going back to the dinos to make sure that we... We have all the things that we need. I think we should, we've got dinosaur hide, so we need to make dinosaur leather and to be able to make that, we need salt, right? We need a salted dinosaur hide. We've got a little bit of salt here. I don't know if we're gonna end up having enough. Let's make as much as we can. We can make two. All right, I mean, that's not the best, but also not the worst thing in the world. Oh, we actually already had some dinosaur leather in our inventory. That's good. So we, we've got this salted dinosaur hide, then we're gonna be able to turn this into dinosaur leather. We're gonna want some more planks and we should be able to make it at least a few beds here. I'm imagining we probably want to make a few because it sounds like we're going to be recruiting uh, colonists here. We're going to bring other people into the mix. I don't, I don't really know what to expect. Back to the colonial era we go. Time to put some beds in this new house. So uh, colonial area, this, this is where we might start to do some like farming and stuff. I don't know how we're going to do it here in the cold, but we'll, we'll see. So we're going to go in here. We're going to make a, um, a bed. Obviously don't want to put it on the wall. So I'm just going to put it right like this. Oop, not with that. We want to hit it with our pickaxe. That's done. Okay, so now we've got a new piece of technology. Head over to your colony hub flag and hold E and press recruit new colonists to get your first colonist. The more beds you have, the more colonists you can recruit. They also require food, so don't go overboard just yet. I'm going to say let's start with one. Obviously don't want to uh, want to do too much. Let's recruit a new colonist. How are you doing? I can assign a job to you. Press E on the structure you want to assign the colonists to. For example, a crop plot, a mine, a colonist, wooden cutting table, etc. Colonist assigning canceled, could not find a job. Okay. With the colony, you don't have to do manual labor yourself anymore. Build a colonist wooden cutting table and assign a colonist to work at it. They often need access to the colony's inventory to do their work. Uh, for that, you'll need to build a colonist basket nearby. If something's wrong, colonists will have an icon above their head indicating it. Get close by and check what they have to say. Okay, so we want to build this new cutting table here. We're going to need iron ingots. Please tell me we've got some extra iron ingots. I'm just going to throw these in our inventory. We're going to travel back. Dude, there's so much time hopping. It's a good thing our time machine works well, huh? So I can make this wooden cutting table. I'm going to put this maybe just outside or out of food taking damage. That's fine. I want to put this just outside of our, or maybe we'll put it, let's put it here. Beautiful. So now we can we can build this and we're going to be able to assign our colonists, assign a job. Press the structure you want to assign. Okay, so we can put them over here on the wooden cutting table. 
So now she's gonna take care of that. Your colonists might not be hungry yet, but they sure will be soon. Build a few berry crop plots and assign a colonist to farm there. Don't forget a colonist basket nearby for the colonists to access the colony's inventory. Hold on, I've, I've got to eat here. We're gonna we're gonna die if we don't eat. We almost died. So we can make a colonist basket with planks and fiber. We've got that. How do we do berries crop plot planks and fiber as well? So I'm gonna do this crop plot. Let's start a little farm over here maybe i'm gonna assign her to start farming probably should have put that a little bit further down in the ground but she can still reach it all right so we're, we're making berries here we are definitely going to need some more fiber and planks though because we want to build that basket so that as she you know makes these berries and collects them and things she's going to have a place to put them so that she can feed herself us and all the other colonists i'm going to put this colonist basket maybe next to our sign is probably a, a good spot Spot to put it and maybe a couple other berry crop plots i'm gonna put them closer in the ground i, f I can't tell if she's gonna like it more down there or not maybe up top makes a little bit more sense i feel like we can at least kind of see it there as long as she can reach it we're good right she's making it go okay i've set up a few wheat crop plots next to our berries she's going to work on the berries is she putting berries in here afterwards i don't is she putting them in our inventory i don't i don't know how this is is working but she's doing something maybe she's putting them in our inventory i'm gonna make a second bed here so we're gonna be able to recruit another colonist and then they're gonna be able to work on the wheat so let's recruit a new colonist he's our Already here you are gonna be a wheat worker my man so assign him to start farming and it looks like he's planting the wheat here and they're they're kind of getting in each other's way maybe we should have put these in different areas i hear something rummaging around out there what is that a, a wolf or a saber tooth or something i'm not sure i'm gonna put another basket right here close to you guys just in case you need i don't like okay Okay, calm down here, sir. Unless you want the smoke, don't come any closer. I think he might want the smoke. Okay, well, I guess he didn't want the smoke. I'm gonna take his meat, raw animal meat. We might be able to use that. We'll see what happens. But it looks like our field is growing. Our berries are growing. I don't know where, oop. Let's watch it. We're at 51 and 47. I don't know where the berries are going. Is she keeping the berries herself? Oh, she's putting them in here now. Okay, I, I don't think she could reach this one, but they're all linked to the same thing. Build a hand mill for our colonists to grind wheat into wheat flour. So we're gonna have to build a hand mill now, which is gonna be here. We're gonna need more planks. I'm gonna put the hand mill over here, kind of by the, um, the wood cutting table that we had. Now we're gonna need a new colonist on this. Should we put our berry girl on this? I feel like we, we really don't need berries that much. I'm gonna put her on the hand mill, and now she should start making flour. She's saying that she needs wheat. I require wheat. I thought we should have wheat in here. Our wheat should be coming in from this guy. In the meantime, we're gonna have to make a campfire to be able to actually bake the bread soon. So I'm gonna work on getting the ingredients for that. But I'm, I'm thinking, are you are you stealing the wheat from me, bro? I, I, I see you working on it, but where where's it going? See, he's he's harvesting right there, but it's not going in here. Where's it going? Oh, is he, oh he's gotta put it in there. He's putting it in there now. Okay. So now she has the ability. She's grabbing it from that. Oh, wow. I, it's kind of cool how you can watch them work. Now she's going to go over here to the hand mill. She's going to make flour out of wheat. And then she's probably going to put the flour back in here, which we're going to be able to use on our little fire that we're going to make once we get some more resources and we're going to be able to turn this into bread. Oh yeah. We've got flour coming in already. All right. So I need to make some, uh, some logs or some planks. Technically, if we had another colonist, we could totally have them working on this on the little colonist woodcutting table, but I'm trying to keep things low key for now. The more people we have, the more mouths we have to feed. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Then we're going to be able to make this baking campfire, which I guess I don't want to put everything all in one area, but I guess it makes sense to put it kind of close to everything else. Let's get this thing drawn up and we're going to be able to, ooh, we're going to have to get another, another person. Do we have another bed? I feel like we're, we're starting to, to get kind of crazy with the, the colonists, but we're going to be okay. We got plenty of space in here we're gonna be good to go Ooh, maximum two beds allowed near each other can i oh shoot we're gonna have to make another building aren't we gonna build a second advanced house next to this one probably don't put it too close because they have different doorways and things so let's go ahead and put this guy up right here i mean this is nice getting more and more people to help out might need to put some more plots down but we're gonna be okay so now we're gonna take another bed we need more fiber shoot we are starting to run out of dinosaur leather so we want to be careful here but if we make this gonna be able to recruit one more we're gonna be able to put them on the bread maker what's up my man you are gonna be
be assigned to this. So he's going to be able to start making bread. Technology bread is complete. He's going to take the uh, the flour out of here and maybe wood and things like that. And he's going to be able to start a fire and make some bread. We're all going to be eating. I'm going to drop some extra berries in here. We don't have anybody working on berries currently. So I'm just going to put some extra berries in for you guys in case you get hungry. So now that we have bread. We're going to be able to make bread and meat. Use the baking campfire to combine bread and dinosaur meat. And even the biggest dinosaurs won't be able to resist you anymore. Hold E on the baking campfire to craft it. Okay. Baking campfire. Combine bread and meat. I want to do that. How do I do that? Do we need to put meat in here? I do have... I have raw animal meat and we've got bread. Can we do that? It's not an option yet. Do we need to go... Hmm. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, we can also make water wheel power. Find some water and build a water wheel connected to an iron furnace to get your colonists to heat iron for you and without the requirement for wood. We can also make a bow. Must be prepared for battle, craft a bow and the stone crafting table. Oh, you have to have dinosaur meat and bread in your inventory. You can't use raw animal meat. I think we might have some dinosaur meat if we go back to the primitive era here and our little baskets of storage. Let me see if we've got any dinosaur meat. Beautiful. So I'm gonna bring all of this back. So the dinos, you're telling me we can tame the little ones with just their own meat, but the big ones, I I'm assuming even the biggest means the Tyrannosaurus Rex. They they will eat it if they if they have bread attached to it. So now we're gonna we're, let's put this dinosaur meat inside here, and then we sh should. Oh, do we have? It, it, I think it might have to be in our inventory. So I'm gonna put this here and this here, and we should be able to combine dinosaur meat and bread. I'm just gonna do it a, a bunch of times. Is that is that doing it? Yeah, it's it's making a dinosaur meat and bread combo. Medium dinosaurs require around twenty. Pros to fully tame large dinosaurs require around 30. So we're getting to a bunch of bread here. I think I'm going to make some more wheat crops. I'm going to put probably three more just because we it's going to sp speed up our process a little bit. Right now we're a little a little slow. Is there a way to delete things in this game? I don't think you can delete things. I wish I could delete these. Okay, so we've got three more and honestly we could probably put a, a fourth one on each side if we wanted why not let's let's make as much bread as possible bread's going to be good for feeding our people it's also going to be good for feeding us for feeding dinosaurs for doing doing everything can he do all of these i don't think he can do all he, he might only be up uh he can do seven can he do this one he can do that one too let's go all right he can do eight so i'm gonna make as many combos as i can here i don't know what we're gonna need to fight with a t-rex but apparently that's coming soon we're also gonna have to make a, a bow it wanted us to make a bow do we see oh we needed i think we needed the um i think we needed the, the stone workbench for that so i'm gonna go back to our primitive era rather than building another one and wasting resources we're gonna see if we have the ability to make a bow now we're apparently getting ready to, to battle something here so we're gonna access crafting bow we need 20 13 more planks okay so we can when I, mean, I think we have some logs on us we should just be able to make some planks here so we can make make this bow gonna take a little bit of time but we're gonna be okay a lot of things are taking dinosaur leather now so it's probably a good thing that we're gonna be getting a t-rex at some point to take some people down let's see so we have the bow now we want hostile neighbors a hostile colony has been detected get your sword and bow and then strike them down for the precious gold ore that they hold all right so we're gonna go back to the colonies i don't know why we can't be friends with all the other humans in this game but we're just time hopping around taking everyone down where's this host oh over here all right well i'm gonna s save the game before we get out and after it who knows what's gonna be over here but i'm excited to see what we can do do we have arrows man i don't see any arrows we're gonna hope maybe it's unlimited air oh they've they've got big houses all right we're going to war i mean can we take over their base i don't oh god okay it doesn't really do all that much damage oh Nice. Hostile neighbors complete. We killed her. Can I pick up your sword? No. Nope. There's another one over here. There's a big bear too. Mister. Should get her there. So the full charge up does practically nothing. This the spamming works well as I'm stuck on something. The spamming kind of works a little bit better. Um wow, this it's a little a little janky, but we're okay. There's a big bear over there. Do we want to take on the bear? This is a, a bad idea. This was a bad idea. We got him. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going to take his meat and it's time to go back home. We got the gold ore that we needed. This this is dumb at this point. You know what we could do? We could just fast travel back. Whoo. Feels good. You guys good to go? 
What's wrong? They're all good. You guys have food and everything? You should be all right, right? Okay, I'm gonna drop some of our important stuff in here. I'm gonna take all of our meat and breads. These are stacks of 20. And then I'm gonna take this gold ore that we got from the other people. That's obviously gonna be pretty important. I feel like these water skins are really important. I don't wanna really mess with those too much. Let's actually take four dinosaur meats and we're gonna take our breads. We're gonna make four more of these. So we're getting close. It says we need 30 for the big ones. We've got 25. What is it gonna take to make a water wheel? 50 planks and four iron ingots. So we can place this right here? Note, you can press X to destroy structures. All right, that's, oh, oh. Oh, do we want to make this down here? Is it, is that, a, that that's, that's working, it appears. I don't know. Is that too far away? How, what are we, what are we supposed to do with this? I, I think that might, I think that might be wrong. I'm going to delete it. We got all of our stuff back. Okay. I think we wanted a, ah, uh, yes, a little bit closer, like kind of like this. Beautiful. All right. So we've got a, a water wheel now. Now we're going to be able to connect. I think it said make the iron furnace. We're going to need more rocks. I always need rocks, dude. You never ever get away from it. Low key kind of hard to find in this era too, dude. They, they blend in with the ground. I see a bear over there. I don't see wolves. I don't see any rock. I just need a rock. One rock. Here we go. Nope. That's a tree. Here we go. All right, so now we're gonna be able to power our iron furnace with, ah, beautiful. And we're no longer gonna have to feed it with fire or anything. It's just gonna be going. We're gonna be able to assign a new colonist to it. So we probably wanna build another bed over here. Do we have all the materials that we need for that? We need more fiber, just a little bit. Not gonna take much. Put this guy in here. We're gonna be able to recruit a new colonist. Things are starting to come together. I like this, recruit a new one. I'm going to take you and I'm going to put you on the furnace. And now you're going to be able to, to use the iron furnace and keep making us iron and gold ingots and whatever else. We need some, some stuff in here. So we've got iron ore. I'm going to put this in our community basket. She's going to be able to take that. She's going to be able to go work on it. Beautiful. So she's going to make gold ore, iron ore, all the above. So next up, it wants us to make a, a coal miner. We're going to be able to mine for coal. And eventually, I think we're going to be able to mix that with gold ore and turn it into gold ingots and then into even stronger than iron and then into reinforced gold to make an anvil to make extra golden equipment to be <laughs> dude this game just goes on forever but um i'm thinking what we're gonna do i'm gonna take all of our our meat here we're gonna go back and we're gonna try to get a t-rex we're going to the dinosaur era it says you want 20 for a medium 30 for a large i'm hoping we have enough we'll see what happens this might be jumping the gun a little bit but we'll we'll see we've got our our little utah raptor here but he's not big enough to get the job done. Collecting some rocks too. The, this era is way easier to find rocks. Who, okay. I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm gonna save again. I really don't wanna waste our, our breads here. Gonna chuck it at him. This is a good spot. He's got his back to us. Be my friend, be my friend. Nope. Be my friend, keep eating. Don't attack me, please. Don't attack me. He's he's looking at me weird. He's a friend now. Let's go. Oh, that didn't take nearly as many as we thought it was going to. Technology, the bigger, the better complete. We now have a tamed T-Rex, baby. That is what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. You are such a good boy. I I like you a lot. So now we we could take care. We we are the king of the jungle. We we are the apex predator. I can't walk in between trees. But when we get to somebody or something, we're gonna be able to take them down no problem. I wonder if we could fight other T-Rexes. I I obviously don't want to end up dying here. This should be no problem at all, though. Just munching down this car. No, these guys have been so mean to us for so long. We're good to go. Anybody coming? Nope. All right. I'm going to hop off and we could just harvest all of this hide. We are never going to be in need of hide again. This is going to be the easiest job that we ever had, baby. I'm taking on two at once. I feel like the Triceratops might be kind of a little danger, dude. He like, the bites are so strong that they freeze. This is beautiful. Look at this. Through the, the powers of technology and bread, we can now have a T-Rex friend. Now he he should stay here for pretty much ever, right? I'm, I'm gonna get some more dinosaur hide just for the heck of it, just so we have a, a good backlog, but he should stay here for a very long time. 
Like, he, he should stay our friend for forever, kind of like our little raptor friend. Dude, the Utah raptor, three bites, you done, son. I feel so bad. Falling off of this guy is like jumping off a skyscraper. Getting all the hide. Let's go. There's another one over here. If only the rest of this game was going to be this easy. I'm going to call you Fred, all right, buddy? I appreciate you, Fred. Thank you for making my job a heck of a lot easier. I'm going to get one more Utah Raptor over here, and I think your your job is going to be done. Take him down, and you know what? We could we could take down this guy as well. I don't really know how to see Fred's uh, health situation. I think he's doing well. I, I don't know if we need to feed him to, to bring his health back up or what, but he, yeah, he's got full health. He's, he's not struggling at all. This is beautiful. We have so much dinosaur high. We're going to be able to make all the beds in the world. We're going to get a whole army of people making resources for us. This is perfect. Okay. I'm going to head back to the uh, colonial era. Fred, you take it easy, my man. Good to see you. So this is unfortunate. We need a lot more salt. I'm going to drop a bunch of stuff off here. All, I mean, we'll keep our iron, I guess guess but we're we're gonna need salt which means we're just gonna head I, I guess we gotta we gotta take this boat out right the salt is kind of a pain in the butt I'm not gonna lie gonna take this boat down the river out to the sea we've done this before but we need the salt to be able to make the dinosaur leather we salt the hide then we make the leather and then with that we're gonna be able to um, build our coal mine start getting coal here's our salt deposits i remember we were really scared of the um the crocs out here so we got to be careful i'm actually i'm probably going to delete my boat pick it up to reconstruct it because we're going to end up fast traveling back to camp it's it's a long a long haul through the rivers there so we're going to grab all the salt we possibly can hopefully we're never going to have to come back here again but there's no promises so we've got uh, 138 things of salt over 100 dinosaur hides and we've got our water skins we're going to be able to make these salted dinosaur hides Gonna fill up the water skins with water and then we can make three at a time here. So one, two, three, and then hit it again. So we're gonna make a bunch of salted hides, then we're gonna make a bunch of leather, and then we're gonna be able to make pretty much everything that we need. With that, we're gonna be able to go back to our colonial era. We have a bunch of them laying out. It takes a while to turn the hide into skin, but I think we have enough. We used all of our, the salt goes so quickly, man. Can we make this coal miner? We're gonna need more rock, planks, and iron ingots. We should have iron ingots being made over here, right? Iron furnace, is she putting these? She might be putting these in here. Beautiful, dude, I love that they're they're working on things without us. All right, we're gonna cut down some trees for some uh, logs to turn into planks. And then we need some, what was it, rocks? But we should be good. 60 rocks, dude, this is not gonna be easy. We should have picked up more back with the dinos, but hopefully we can have some luck here. Okay, we've got it. So I'm gonna put the coal miner maybe in between. Between the, between the houses probably doesn't make sense. I guess we could put it over here on the other side of our uh, our, our farming space as long as he dude, is he has space to get around. I'm going to move it back a little bit to make sure that he has space to get around here. So let's go ahead and build this. We're going to need to build another cot, another bed, which we have enough of. But I think we already have two beds in here, right? We aren't going to be able to put a third. No, we're going to have to put another house. So we're going to have to build advanced house two is usually the, the best way to go. I'm I'm gonna put this right here. After that's made, we're gonna be able to put this new bed in it, which we need more fiber. So we'll just grab some fiber really quick. It's not easy to uh, make beds for people, but we're, we're fine. So now we should do this. We can fast travel back to our little base over here. We're gonna be able to recruit a new colonist. Are you new? She's baking. Who's our new one? Is he new? He's the wheat farm. Oh, we never we never made it. I'm an idiot. Okay, we have to do that. Then we could come over here. I can recruit a new colonist. We've got a new one here. We're going to assign him to the coal mine. Does he need anything? That's been completed. That tech has been completed. Build another water wheel connected to a steel furnace to heat iron and coal into steel. So we can build another one of these water wheels. Again, we want to keep it fairly close but not too close. Maybe like that, beautiful. So we could put this here and then we're gonna wanna build the coal mill. Coal mill, it said. Steel furnace, we need more rocks. Do you see how far I had to go from camp to be able to find rocks? Rocks are, oh, hello, that's not good. Typically along the shore, oh, here's a whole big deposit of rocks. We like this. They're typically along the shoreline, but they're just super hard to find, but this was well worth it. So we can build this steel furnace. It fits. I was a little bit worried about our the, the location next to our plots, but I think we should be okay. How do you... It works from this side, so we want to assign a new colonist to this. So we're going to want a new bed. We can place this down, make sure we build it. Then we can travel back to our sign. We can recruit a new colonist. 
We're going to take this new colonist and we're going to set him up over here in this thing. So he's going to be able to make some steel even stronger than iron is complete. And now we're going to be able to build a stake anvil to reinforce gold. Now to be able to do that, we're going to need planks and steel ingots. They should be making steel ingots as time goes on. So let's just go get some more planks. A lot of this game feels like busy work and it kind of is it's gathering resources and whatever else but i mean look look at where we're coming here we've got water wheels we've got a village we've got multiple buildings people working for us like things are going well do they have enough berries looks like they've been chewing through their berries but it's not terrible yeah things things are happening this is good i mean we've even got a, a pet t-rex you know what i mean like it, it it could be worse we are thriving through time right now so we've got steel ingots coming in here can we make that steak anvil yet we need more planks i just dropped off a bunch of planks so we are going to be able to make this i guess this anvil i'm going to put over here next to all of our other crafting benches the anvil could I guess go on the, the back side back here. So let's make this steak anvil. Craft this bad boy. Beautiful. Ass so we're going to assign more colonists to this though. I'm going to take our baker. We're going to change her from baking. We're going to put her over on this. We're going to need to get some more colonists and stuff, dude. This is kind of ridiculous. So that's been completed. Now we're going to start making reinforced gold. So we're going to want to build a reinforced gold anvil, which we're going to need three of these ingots when she makes those. So she needs gold ingots, which I think we're going to have to make gold ingots on our own. If we take the gold ingots back to our primitive era, we have our own little anvil thing there. So we're currently making steel and iron here. But to make gold, I think we're going to have to do it on our own, maybe. Or no, I don't know if we're going to be able to do that because this is an iron thing. Yeah, we can only do iron ore in this. So I'm not sure where's... Where do we work with gold? I think we have to go to this first. This, this has been off in the distance over here. I'm going to... Let's save first but um i don't think we have the ability to make gold ingots yet so we're we're going down one side of the tree we're gonna have to learn how to make them first and it looks like we might have some sort of a cave up here we're gonna go gather gold in can only imagine what else is gonna be in there this game is crazy dude I i'm genuinely really enjoying it i hope you guys are too it uh man i it, i feel like it speeds up and slows down you know it, we're taming t-rexes and then we're running around looking for caves and then we're going out and doing something crazy and it's i don't know it's kind of addicting i i, I like the the whole management side of it. I do think if we were smart, we would take some time and let's make sure that we have every job kind of like taken care of. We need to add four more buildings, eight more beds, and just have multiple people all ready to go. Got our bow out in case stuff starts popping off. Are we gonna have anything inside the cave? I don't like caves, man. The hair on the back of my neck is standing up. I don't know what we're looking for in here. It's gotta be this. Gold ore tech has been complete. So now, build another water wheel connected to a gold furnace to heat gold ore into gold ingots. So now we're going to be able to make a gold furnace. We're, we're definitely going to need more people. All right, I'm going to organize things up a little bit and I'll see you guys in a sec. So one of the biggest things I've learned is putting more of these baskets around is really helpful because each basket is a new line of five for your community storage, but then they don't have to, have to go as far. So this is our new gold water wheel. This is our new gold furnace. Now look at this. She is so much more efficient because she's not running all the way over here to be able to use that now it looks like this guy that's on the gold anvil is using that but we could i mean technically let's delete this we're gonna make a new stake anvil i say we put it right here so he's not gonna get in her way but he's really close to the basket we could assign the closest guy to it colonist has been successfully assigned we did add a, a fourth house back there in the back and now he's just gonna be able to go from basket to anvil basket to anvil basket to anvil I guess she kind of has to run around. They might run into each other there, but you guys get the idea. Keeping it close definitely makes it a lot more um, a lot more efficient, I guess, is the, the word I'm looking for. So we've got these gold ingots that we were wanting. I'm going to grab these. Our next thing we're going to want to make is the, the reinforced golden anvil, which we're going to need some more rocks. Looks like we've got a rock right here. I think that should be enough. So now we can make this anvil. I'm going to put the anvil, I guess, right here. And I think we're going to need a new colonist to be able to work this. Oh, that we can just craft it. Okay, now it wants us to make shiny gold equipment, especially the sickle will surely come in handy. 
And then we're gonna upgrade our time travel device for a new era and a new war upon us. So we're gonna need more gold ingots here to be able to make all this stuff. Sword, sickle, hatchet, and pickaxe. Sick, baby. All right, we are moving right on up. Look at this, man. We have a whole industry here all working away, making different abilities and things for us. This is fantastic. So I'm going to put our current tools in here. We're not going to need these anymore. We are going to keep our bow and arrow, of course, to keep some, some distance there. We're going to need 15 total gold ingots to make all the things that we want. One more here. Waiting for our guy to get it in there. All right, so we've got that. Now we're going to be able to use this golden anvil. We're going to make the golden pickaxe. And Oh, we're going to need our pickaxe to be able to construct it. I forgot about that. So we can make this. Obviously, with new tools, we're going to have new challenges awaiting us in our next area. So I'm going to take that. And then we're going to make the golden hatchet. Beautiful. Take that. Then we're going to make the golden sickle. So we're going to be farming in the future, maybe? I don't know. We'll see what happens. We've got that. And then we're going to make our golden sword. We should... Oh, these are golden ingots, not reinforced golden ingots. So I'm going to throw these back in here. We need them to make the reinforced ones. So as it turned out, we ran out of iron, which means we can't make steel, which means we can't make the reinforced ingots. So now we're going to have to come back to our primitive era. I love how it ties everything back. It honestly kind of gets a little challenging. You have to remember, what do I need to be able to make that thing? I don't know how golden items are better than than iron ones because gold definitely isn't as strong as iron but we're gonna go back here we're gonna have to get more iron deposits to be able to make steel to be able to make the reinforced gold but yeah it's kind of cool how this always ends up tying back Ooh, the gold i don't think it's any more efficient than the iron was i was hoping we were gonna get more more iron out of it but it's cool how it ties back every time you oh that's just rock we don't want rock every time you unlock something new sometimes you're gonna have to go back to get old stuff and you can't forget where you came from and just like that we've got all of our ingots so now we're gonna be able to make that I don't want the sickle, dang it. I messed that up. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Ah. Oh. I, it, it canceled and it canceled the whole thing. We just lost four golden ingots there. All right, we can't mess that up again, Trev, because we're almost out of gold. The gold is not going to be easy to find. We're going to have to go out and search for, I, I don't know, caves and stuff. That's really unfortunate. I, I wish I wouldn't have done that right there, but we're just going to have to live with it. So we're going to get one more piece of reinforced gold. We're going to make sure that we hit the sword this time. The sword is what we don't have, Trev. This one right here, beautiful. Got a feeling we're going to be getting into some crazy sword fights with this. So we'll we'll see how this goes. I guess our next thing is going to be to upgrade this. We need three more reinforced gold ingots. Hopefully, we're going to have enough. I'm going to be really upset if we ended up messing that up, but I think we should be fine. There we go. We've got three more. All right, we're going to be able to craft the upgrade for our reinforced golden time travel device. Let's construct this bad boy, and we are going to be able to move into the next era. Beautiful. Take that, and now we can go some sort of like a, a soldier. A little bit nervous about this a war is a pot dude look at how beautiful this game is okay so now we're going to be making a ooh, craft the paraglider and the reinforced golden anvil and sort of the sky into the skies to reach the time rift where be careful no reason to land here time warped back okay we're oh we're gonna need the paraglider so we're going to want to go back to our colonial era. We're going to want to build the paraglider. And then I think we're going to be jumping off with the paraglider. Need our handy dandy golden anvil. We're going to need four iron ingots and four dinosaur leather. Now the prob... Take this. Hurry up. These guys always... They, they take the iron ingots to make the steel and the whatever else. So we've got four iron ingots. Do we have dinosaur leather in here? We should. We've got dinosaur hide. I'm going to check back at our primitive era because i remember we we might need some more salt we made a, a bunch of leather and stuff but i think we used that on all our beds let's see we've got more hide here but no leather so we're gonna have to go oh goodness gracious dude we're gonna have to take this boat back out we're gonna have to get more salt we're gonna have to make more leather the salt is the worst part of this game honestly if we were smart we would move our entire base over to the ocean side there's nothing else holding us inland I, that's actually really not a bad idea at all except the fact that it would take so long it takes so many materials to rebuild and stuff and i'm lazy so i don't think that's in the cards right now back here yet again this time with the golden pickaxe but still collecting the same stuff salt is i mean i who, who doesn't like salt right i'd probably put a little bit too much salt on everything i like hot sauce which has a lot of salt in it like uh, salt is great 
it's just kind of hard to come by in this game and it it is needed for basically every recipe that we do okay we've salted the leather we've we've got the dinosaur stuff we've got everything we need we're good to go so we we can make this we made it. While this item's in your inventory, you can press space while falling in air to open the paraglider. It has infinite uses. While gliding, you can press the mouse wheel up or down to change the view. Okay, so now we're going to take this. We're going to go over to this new unexplored area. I think we're going to end up jumping off of this cliff, and we're going to want to glide all the way down to the objective. So we just press space. I'm going to save before we run off the edge here. Oh, we could change our views. Okay. Can we, we can undo it and redo it. Might be able to add some extra distance or something. I don't know. This is pretty sweet. All right. It just kind of goes wherever you're, you're pointing here. So we're going to glide down towards this red marker. No clue what's coming next. It is a beautiful day wherever we are. And we're just going to keep, keep pushing forward, baby. <laughs> just keep moving our way through time. Sometimes it's a little bit random. You know, I don't, I don't really know where the paraglider came from. This is a, a time warp, I think. Sweet. So we're going to be warping into a new era here. Make sure that we're on the money. We're going to have some sort of a medieval, you know, castles it's armor where are we currently let me see we are in the ancient war era okay so what's our current objective we want to build mechanical steel a time of to our next destination has been detected inside the heart of this abandoned castle we must break in go back to the colonial area and build a chemistry bench to make mechanical steel find it in the third category we're also going to make rope from a rope table we're going to make a battering ram into the outer gate we're going to make chemistry nerding out and sulfur we're going to be making bombs basically we're going to make a catapult into the inner gate we're going to make baking soda we're going to make dynamite we're going to get museum keys. We're going to get artifacts and we're going to start a revolution. So we've got to get inside this castle. Now, dude, what in the world is this game? We have got to seize this castle, make our way in, and we're going to make our way to our next era. This is outrageous. Can we see? Is there anything inside here? Hello? I got a sword. I'm ready to fight. If anybody wants to let me through. Hello? Can't make my way in. Ooh, I, oh, 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 hello. Nice to see you there. Can I attack? I can attack you from through the gate. Is This is kind of cheating. These guys look big and scary, but I'm going to go for it. We're going to have to make a battering ram, but um, <sighs> we got a lot of work cut out for us. I low-key ended up killing all of these guys right here. So I'm, I'm not sure if that's going to help us out or if they're going to respawn in the future, but we're going to have to go back to our primitive era or colonial era. Or it wants us to go somewhere. We got to build a new table. The rope table is going to take planks and fiber. That's something we can work with. We're also going to be able to make the chemistry workbench, which is going to take planks, rocks, steel ingots, and fiber. First up, we're back here in the primitive era. Oh, oh, this is not, are you serious? We could go this fast now? Okay. And that doesn't use our energy. Like the, the, the sprint ability that's beautiful so we're gonna want to get some iron to be able to make steel see watch this let's go dude that is sick okay we now have this new paraglider we got is is a game changer for us so we're gonna get all of this iron ore up here on the mountain with the help of our handy dandy paraglider we could reach the back side of the mountain with the paraglider which we've never been able to get to before we could have but it just would have taken a long time so now we have a lot more access to iron deposits gonna make our job a heck of a lot easier we're gonna take all of these iron deposits back to the colonial era we're gonna drop these in our our community box so they're gonna be able to start making steel out of it drop this in here beautiful lots of of things there so now they're gonna start making steel in the meantime we're gonna get some planks and fiber to be able to make the the rope bench and whatever else i'm imagining we're probably gonna need a ton of fiber here so you know rope fiber it's it's probably gonna be involved so while we're doing all that they should have been getting us these steel ingots beautiful we're going to be able to make these new crafting tables i never really know where to put stuff i don't want to have it in the way but you never really know where it's going to go so we're going to be able to make this rope table here i'm not sure is this going to take somebody else we're going to have to assign a colonist on it unfortunately and then we've also got this chemistry workbench we're going to need more steel ingots rocks and planks Okay, we should have all the, the inventory for that there, all the resources for that. So we've got both of these. Now I know we have oh, we have crafting here now. We're going to be able to make mechanical steel ingots. So we use just a steel ingot to, to be able to make that straight up. It's, it's one for one. That's nice. So I'm going to keep taking more of these steel ingots. We're just going to keep making those. We also, I think we have somebody local we could assign to this. I'm not sure how to make rope. I'm assuming... Battering ram is going to take 20 rope 
eight mechanical steel ingots, planks, dinosaur leather, and coal. So we're gonna keep making these mechanical ingots here. We currently have four ingots. We need four more. We're currently making three. So we're gonna we're gonna grab one more steel ingot from over here. We're gonna be able to put that in. So we're gonna have four there. Then we're gonna need rope. I don't know how to make rope. Is he making rope? He might already be making rope. I don't see any rope in here. He, oh, he needs fiber, of course. Like like we said, we're gonna need fiber to make rope. Okay, so we've got him making rope. I'm gonna go get some, some more fiber so we can make more of it. It's interesting how some things we can make ourselves and now some things we can't. Like we, we literally physically cannot make rope by ourselves if we wanted to. We need to go make fiber, put it in the communal chest, and then our, our workers will, will make it for us. Drop all of our fiber in there. We should be good to go. Let me check this. We're gonna take, we've got our, our nine steel, mechanical steel ingots. I know that we have some extra dinosaur leather back in the primitive era. We were going ham on that. I think we actually had some tanning, so we're, we can take 12 from this. So now I, I think we need some more planks and we need rope. We can make planks right here and we're going to be good to go to the, the battering ram, which is kind of exciting. And then after that, I think we're going to have to make the, uh, the catapult. So probably kind of repeat what we did here. Got a bunch more fiber as well. I'm going to bring all that over. He's making rope for us. He's not the fastest guy in the world, but uh, as soon as we get 16 more rope, we're going to be able to make this battering ram. Um, things are picking up. He, 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 I don't like that he has to run back and forth. So should we make him, what does it call in his basket take? We need some more fiber and then we're going to have to make more planks, but that's not a bad deal for us. If we make this, this basket, he's not going to have to run back and forth. He's just going to be able to stay right here at the table and make us all the rope in the world. Look at him going to town making rope out of leaves over there. That doesn't sound like a very easy job, but he's doing good. We need just four more. Come on, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we've got that. Now we're... I think we're just going to be able to straight up craft the battering ram whatever we want. So now we're going to go back to the ancient war arrow. We're going to craft this battering ram to be able to knock down this door. And we're going to see what happens from there. Now, if you remember, we did kind of cheese it a little bit. I, I shot the bow and arrow through the door at everyone. Unfortunately, we can't sprint, but we can do this. Oh, are they back over there? Oh, no, that's that's just our objective. Are they still there? I'm tempted to cheese it again, but we're, we're just going to play it as is. Here we go. So we're going to build this battering ram. Okay, we're going to want to construct it with the... Dude, this is so ridiculous. How do we use... Ride it? I just... Oh, let's go! What's up, fellas? I'm storming your gates. We're on the inside of the castle here. And now I think we're gonna have to redo it all over again. And we're gonna have to build a catapult, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if we're still gonna use this battering ram or what what's what's our plan from here the inner gate is going to be tougher to get through so we'll need some type of bomb use the chemistry bench to craft catapult bombs 20 will be enough then we need sulfur gather sulfur from the hot springs located away from the castle where the dead trees are you'll need 40 of it so we're gonna have to get sulfur to be able to make this bomb to be able to catapult the inner gate this game is so beyond ridiculous dude all right so we i mean this this speeds up our our process a, a little bit we kind of need a, a little bit of height if we want to go fast but yeah this is this is fantastic do we have anything bad out here it's just barren wasteland sulfur is going to be the yellow rock so are we taking how much did that give us just two. We need 40. Okay, so this was without a doubt the uh, the biggest grind session that we've had. I, I like how grindy this game is, but sometimes it just takes a little bit of time. I think we should be good from this point. We need 90 planks. We need one more set of planks. Hit this a couple more times. Beautiful. All right. We don't need any more of these logs. I kind of want to clear up our inventory. Let's drop these. We're going to split one off and drop that. So we learned or, or we, we crafted this table, the chemistry table. So we're going to make these catapult bombs. It makes five, but five at a time. We're going to need uh, 20 of these to be able to make our catapults. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, and we should be able to make 20. Chemistry nerding out was complete. We should be able to make 20 of these bombs. We've got 10 and now we've got 20. Beautiful. Now we're going to be able to make our catapult with 25 rope, 10 or eight, eight mechanical steel ingots. So we need to put two back, 90 planks, six dinosaur leather, eight coal, and 20 catapult bombs. It's it's a lot of things. It doesn't sound like much, but it, it took a long time to get that ready to go. So we're going to split off one coal and put that back. We're going to split off two leather and put those back and then i think it was two ingots right put off two of those can we still make this yes we're perfect so now we're gonna fast travel back to our ancient war era and i've got a feeling we're gonna end up fighting here 
So we, we better be ready. We're going to be catapulting sulfur bombs over the edge of the castle. And we're going to see how that goes for us. We can't sprint. We're just going to slowly... Well, we technically could battering ram our way over there, right? We can't sprint, but we can drive this thing, baby. I identify as a battering ram. So we're going to take this. I'm assuming we're sieging the castle somehow here. Oh, goodness. There's a, there's a bridge. That must be it. I mean, this is pretty cool how there's... Like a whole community here. I'm sorry to come in and just completely ruin your day, but it's, it's got to be done. We have entered the outer wall of the castle, and now we are going to be going into the inner wall. I'm going to leave our battering ram here. I don't think we need that anymore. I think we're going to need the trebuchet. So let's... Dude, this is, this is insane. Are you guys ready? We're going to be taking on a castle. This doesn't make sense, but we're here. So um, we're going to make our catapult just like this. Is that is that what it wants? I hope this is right. This better be right. I mean, ride it. Oh, let's go, baby. And we've got a whole... Oh, wait, can we use this again? Hold on. Oh, can I throw stuff at him? I don't think that hurts him, unfortunately. Come at me. Does that not hurt him? Oh, oh, uh, ah, ah. This is a problem. This is, a, this is a big problem. Do you guys... Hello? Okay. Of course. Of course. We messed up our trebuchet and, and now we're fighting these guys straight up. It's fine. I'm going to use the bow at a distance. We're just going to keep backing up. We can we can back up faster than they can come at us, I think. I hope. We'll see what happens. Holy cow. They are big and they are scary. Okay. He's down. Got to focus on the ones behind him. I wish if you got headshots or charged up more, it would do more damage, but it doesn't really seem to matter all that much. So we're just going to try to take the second one down here. Can we just spam him? Kind of. A little bit. I'm also tempted to Dude, he's got moves, huh? I'm a little bit hungry. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat some some berries here. No, nope, not today. Wow. Homie's got moves, but we're even better. Let's go. Give him a little a little tea bag. Okay. That's complete. Now I think uh the next thing was gonna be we need to find baking soda from the inner castle walls. We'll need 60 baking soda with that. We're gonna be able to make some dynamite, and then I think we're gonna have to blow open one final door here. So let's go get some baking soda. Are we are we safe in here? I think we might be safe. Baking soda. I got baking soda. This isn't baking soda, is it? No. It's like it. Ooh. Why? Why we need 60 baking soda, so I'm gonna be mining all these. Why would baking soda be growing like this? Uh, can you grow baking soda? Sodium bicarbonate. I, I, I don't know. We're gonna make 60 of it so we can make a bomb. Slowly but surely making our way there. We've got 58. I mean, there's a whole bunch of it here. Are we gonna want more than 60? I'm not sure. We've got 60. I'm assuming we're gonna have to go back to our chemistry set. Access our crafting. We need water skins and, and these things. It makes 12 at a time. So we're gonna be we're going to be able to be... It's already done. We're, we're good to go. So let's put these here. We're going to travel back to the ancient war era. We're going to be able to blow a hole in something. And that's going to lead us to our next era. I don't know. We'll see what happens. This game is... It's so weirdly fun. I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. We've got dynamite now. And we are in a castle. <laughs> like... We started by fighting dinosaurs with rocks, and now here we are with dynamite in a castle. What's next? I don't know. We've been to, like, China. We've been kind of all over the world, so your guess is as good as mine. And also, how is this so freaking beautiful? It's not detailed, for sure. It's, it's lacking in the immersion department, but it is so freaking beautiful. You're going up to the main castle here. Little bit nervous what could be waiting for us i can't even get up there this thing is well defended come on baby looks like it's gonna be their uh their their gates here that we're trying to get through Woo! hello anybody in here i mean i can throw i can throw dynamite at him right it doesn't it doesn't do anything okay hang on a second sir oh he's really really tough he's really tough he is he is ex extremely tough we, we're gonna have to really be careful with him. I'm gonna keep our distance. I think this this bow is about the best thing that's ever happened to us. So we're just gonna keep getting away from him and charging up and, and doing our thing here. This is the big boss. Get me out of here. I got a glider in you. No, oh, don't glide back into him, Trev. What are you doing? Sir, I, I kind of don't appreciate that you're invincible. Go. I don't appreciate that you're invincible to dynamite. I feel like that's kind of a little OP. Don't fall off the edge, Trev. Holy cow, you could kill yourself so easily right here. Let's let's be smart about this, please. Dude, he is so freaking tough. 
I fell off the freaking thing, dude. He's coming after us down here. Nope. Run, 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 run. There's another exclamation mark in there, which is making me a little bit nervous. I don't know what else is, is ready to come at us. There's obviously not just this guy. There's some other sort of an objective in there. This should be our final stand, I hope. Come at me! No! Four! Oh my gosh, we almost died right there, dude. Make sure you eat all your vegetables. Holy cow, he's dead. Okay, what's in here? What's, what's, oh, it's just a black hole. Nobody else in here? We're good to go. Get me in here. Oh my God, we almost died right there because I fat fingered it. All right, what's next? I, I couldn't even tell you. There's some sort of a museum, right? King of prehistoric time. With a large head full of sharp teeth, this creature was born to kill and hunt animals up to the size of a car. Its legs, which resembled a bee, had a long reach when running, making one believe this creature could run as fast as a train. We're in some sort of a museum here. We're looking for keys. Time travel device has detected three keys around the museum and has highlighted them in a golden glow. Find all three. A golden glow? Dude, where are we? What is this? I have no idea. I don't see anything glowing golden. Oh, right, right there. Okay, now, now I kind of get where we're going with this. So you want me to grab these? How do you want me to grab that? Maybe climb this thing? Oh, just look at it. Okay, so that's, that's one. We need two more keys. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of gives me the, the heebie-jeebies. A wee bit. There's got to be a key up here, right? Up at the very top. How is there not? I don't... This should not be this hard, Trev. Aha! Here's a second one. These, I'm not going to lie, are, are not not easy to find. Okay, so th this is just simply a scavenger hunt. We, we got to make sure we go into every room and look really closely. Obviously, everything is kind of glowing orange a little bit. So you got to be very careful that you aren't missing anything. It seems like they tend to be in the skulls. In the, the, the whatever you want to call it. The ruins on the side so we'll see if we can find this fossils is the word i was looking for oh my gosh dude are you freaking kidding me is this one oh i was a part of the poster i walked by that a million times okay these keys seem to have a very powerful magnetic charge the time child devices detective another powerful magnetic signal similar to them it has been marked on your screen marked on my screen oh over here whoa we got a gym Mysterious relic has granted you plus 100 weight. We're going to be able to carry more now. Technology museum artifact is complete. And now, upgrade your time to travel device. The chemistry bench, the next arrow awaits. Let the revolution begin. So we're going to go back to our colonial era. We're going to be able to carry more now. And it's going to be time for us to go to our next thing. Dude, this, it's something. So here we go. Do we need anything? One reinforced golden time travel device and one museum artifact. We're going to make this new one. And now we have officially unlocked the industrial era. We could carry more now, which makes me a little bit nervous. I've got a feeling we're going to be moving a lot of weight around. New unlocks are useful for this era. Technology revolution is complete. Oh my, dude, are you kidding? Are we in the Grand Canyon? Look at how beautiful this is, man. We've got a new tree. We're going to be working our way down. Oh my goodness. 